Hey everybody, Even if he's welcome a back. On the quiet about side. to head out with Buddy here. Go find Be back a few feet, would you? Um, now I'm kind of wondering if we should check out any of the other stuff here, like the locked rooms. Just, I got a legion guy. Um, you again, Smith? So I'm wondering if there's anything that Halden's hiding. What the hell? Okay, that's kind of what happened last time, but... You again, smooth skin! I'll just leave. Is that... Huh. Okay. Where's... Uh, buddy's with us. So yeah, like, I was kind of curious. There's, um... A few locked rooms here. I think there's only one on the first floor. Buddy, you don't mind that I'm breaking and entering. So wait a minute, weren't the prisoners supposed to be a legion? Human? How did you get past the ghouls? Well, I just told him I was here to be, yeah, trade with them. I didn't realize they could be reasoned with. Perhaps this could have been avoided if I. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm Marx. Um, who are the dead guys in the corner? They were like us, initiates sent here to exterminate the ghouls. They knew what would happen if Aladio learned of our failure. They were unwilling to wait. Wait, so you guys are legion? Have the ghouls been treating you well? Surprisingly, yes. They've kept us fed and healthy, and they plan on releasing us soon. So, what are you guys doing here? We were sent to exterminate the ferals, but didn't know about the intelligent ghouls. They took us captive, and have been keeping us here ever since. Okay. Why didn't they just kill you? I've asked that myself, and they said it was because we posed no threat to them. It was meant as an insult, but I believe there was some truth to it. Um, well, goodbye. Farewell. Okay, well, it's not like he's torturing them or anything. I mean, there are legions, so I really don't give a shit if he was. I heard that we got a smooth skin in today. You're just some other some rooms upstairs. I thought you'd be. What the? Okay, is is Halden just kicking me out like automatically? Oh wait, Marky Knopfler? Something Marky can do for you? Yeah. How do you say your last name? Name's Marky Knopfler. Don't forget it. What's your name? What did I literally just say? Edge yeah, full, and like I said, Marky Knopfler. What is it though? I mean, can you have your voice actor read it? Because I don't know how to pronounce that. Hey man, whatever you're smoking, give me a cut. I don't even care if it's him. What do you do around here? Shit, Daddy O, not much. Used to be a musician back in the day, from guitar to saxophone. You couldn't stop Marky Knopfler. But now. I haven't seen an instrument in ages. Now that there's no regulation on music, I can't play a note. I bet I could find a guitar. I have like hundreds back at the sink. Good luck, daddy -o. I'm thinking most of those burned up by now. How long have you lived here? Me and my bandmates had a dig in the old restaurant here. It was a real rockin' gig. Uh, when the world caught on fire, I was lucky enough to be sitting up, sitting up inside. The boys weren't so lucky, burned to ash. Lost all my equipment, and the place I was supposed to play became the graveyard. Graveyard? Most people don't like talking about that. 
mainly because, well, that's where we keep the ones we can't let go, the ones that lost themselves. Daddy-o, I can't explain how this new world works, but eventually we lose our minds and it's easier to lock them away than put them down. You getting what I'm breezing, Daddy-o? Because it took me a while to get used to it. Yeah, I think I'm uh, picking up what you're putting down. Uh, what can you tell me about this place? Well, there ain't shit. I apologize about that. There was some landscaper uh, blowing leaves outside. So anyway, what were you saying, uh, Marky? Well, there ain't shit to smoke, so, uh... What are you going to do about that? I'm going to bring you something to smoke? If you can bring me tobacco, I can give you some money. First thing I did after the bombs dropped was raid the hotel rooms. Give you a couple of bills for each one you bring. You no know, bills aren't really worth much. Well, I have some tobacco. I mean, you can probably just use the bills as rolling paper. Sweet business, Daddy-o. I'm sure a bunch of them have cocaine on them. That's actually a fact. Like, most, uh, money, like in circulation, it's extremely dirty. It's got, like, blood, drugs, feces, everything on it. Which, with the drugs part, I kind of wonder if that's, like... I mean, it's got to be, like, a huge false positive ratio when it comes to drug dogs. Uh, you want cigarettes? Nah, man, they put chemicals in that shit. That ain't good for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, damn landscapers outside again. Hold on. Alright, I think the landscapers moved on. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get going. We'll uh, check out the other rooms at another point. Anything on me, kid! Whoa, whoa, what? Hey, what, what the? What was that for? I'm not allowed to shoot the ferals. Is that? Now what's going on? Uh. Okay, hold on. All right, all right. buddy, where are you at? You got something on your mind, kid? Uh, no. Let's let's just get going. You're still cool? Alright, well, if the ferals come after me, you wanna handle that? Is it because I dropped my gun? No. Okay. Close enough. Well, look at that. Fucking knew it. For a second, I thought it was hostile again. You don't have anything on me, kid. Nice work. Is there more? No. I'm gonna get that plant. Whoa. Slender ants. <laughs> oh, I thought they were about to say, the Legion has marked you for death. Had even here, we can't escape them. Or come to a Ladio point. Enough? Imagine we're back in Mojave and the Legion show up. Don Eladio wants you to come meet him at camp. It's like, sir, I'm at Caesar's tent, alright? Hey buddy, where are you going? Buddy, uh, we're going over here. Is he... Shit, I don't even see him anymore. Oh, there he is. Alright, we'll, we'll meet up with you later, buddy. I guess.
There's Buddy. Alright. Just worried about him, like, dying up on his own. Had enough? Damn! I don't think a single one of those shots even hit. Buddy, watching the perimeter. Uh, is there supposed to be a note here? Buddy, you want to come over here a sec? You got something on your mind, kid? Uh, no. Come on up. Come on up this way. say something. I hope it's not because we killed Eat this. Oh. Where did that come from? I hope it's not an issue that we already killed people here. Uh, maybe we can talk to the guy inside. He might know something about Maddox. Careful. Looks like we've some combat ahead. Whoa, hey, wait, wait. No. No, no, no. Uh. No, 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 Teddy, Teddy, no. Teddy? Bad Teddy. Wait, are you actually Maddox? No, you're Ventus. I don't want to kill you. Fuck, hold on, did we... Ah, it's far back. You got something on your mind? Alright, hold on. Let's try to avoid this conference. Let's try to avoid, yeah, let's... Search the tent, see if we can find anything. Hmm. 
Where the hell did Buddy go? Hello? Wait. Um. Okay, maybe we have to kill the doctor. I mean, I'll get an auto save. I can reload just in case he isn't actually. Aspectus. Find Maddox. Is he supposed to be here or? killing the doctor. I don't want to because he's really just a prisoner. But careful. Looks like there's some combat ahead. Mm. You got something on your mind? I think that really helped us either. Um, hmm. Alright. Yeah, we'll just reload for here for now. Fool! Oh, the Legion guy. Who are you? Generic Legionary. I'm kind of stumped. Uh, I hope when we came here the first time we didn't break anything. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we need more clues or something? Alright. Um, I'll tell you what. How about... I'll reload this save over at Casa de los Muertos. And maybe I'll tell Buddy to stay behind, um, just because I'm not really sure what's going on here. But maybe we can find some more information back at the hotel. Okay, we're back uh, here. That's step where we have to get additional information from Buddy. Um, Well, I suppose we could, hmm, all right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to save, so we have a, a designated hard save for this. Let me try going to the power plant without Buddy, and we'll just see if anything happens. 
cannot fast travel while there are enemies. Alright, don't fight the ghouls. Apparently that pisses off the others. No. Uh, shoot. Pity, don't kill them. Let's see, these guys are probably all pissed off now, are they? No? What about Buddy? Is he angry? Alright, Teddy, tell you what, I'm gonna... You're gonna stay here, okay? or whatever his name is uh, isn't afraid of us hey oh uh, no why are you hmm. if I put on legion armor are you okay with me We'll be back. Okay. I'm gonna try... Keep gonna back a few feet, would you? Yeah, I'm gonna try searching upstairs. Maybe we can find some other information that might be important. If not, though, I might have to come back to this. Smooth thing. You don't even have a nose. Keep back a few feet, would you? Believe it or not, I'm busy right now. I got nothing to say to you. People give Halden a hard time. But I think he does all right for a guard, even if he's a bit on the quiet side. All armaments are to be locked up in the new armory set up next to the break room. The armory is off limits to everyone except the chief of security and other high ranking officials. Any other people attempting to breach the armory will be shot. Thank you. Personnel file residents. Carrie used to be a magazine model from before the war, now just cries all the time. 
about how she hates existing. She's so shallow, thinking her looks are the only thing that matters. I'm honestly surprised she hasn't turned feral yet, because a lot of the signs are all there. I seriously believe that she's on the brink of suicide or close smell of feces, and all she seems to do is mope and sleep around. Her husband Clem has more than has been more than supportive, even to the point of being alright with his wife being with other men. Not a problem currently, but this attitude of hers is going to cause drama. Clem. Our local cook and shopkeep, the man is a bit strange, as most of the pre-war ghouls around here are. He has a kind demeanor, but often says rude things. I'm not exactly sure if he's aware of if he's being offensive towards people when he's talking to them. If he doesn't, he... If he does, he doesn't seem to care. That being said, he also doesn't seem to care that his current wife is sleeping around. Perhaps he gets off on it. I wouldn't put it past him. Cole. Cole is really an angry gentleman and serves very little practical purpose. He's another ghoul here from before the war. However, back when he was a janitor, and now he's still a janitor. Or rather, the official cleaner of the lobby. Doesn't seem to enjoy what he does, but that leaves me to question why he still does it. I asked him once, and he threatened me angrily. I don't know what crawled up this guy's ass, but if he starts causing trouble, I'm not afraid to throw him out the door. No one here really likes him anyway. He spends all of his time either cleaning or in his room at all times. People seem to have learned to avoid him. Sheriff Rotface. I really can't get a read on this guy. It's almost like someone shafted his brains out. I thought he was just mute at first, but Jesus, the guy was dumb. At least he knows how to please a woman. Alden, my boss. Surprising, I don't, don't know a lot about him. Won't tell people about his past, which is really suspicious. I've already caught him in a few lies already. He keeps changing his story about how he became a ghoul. First, it's toxic radiation dump, then it's investigating pre-war nuclear reactor. I didn't do much research into him like most of the other people here since he's my boss, and he's pretty much in charge around here anyway. If problems start occurring, though, I'll have to actually start a formal investigation. Chrissy, another one of those prostitutes hiding out in the upper rooms. Why anyone would be in their line of work in the first place is beyond me, but they seem to enjoy what they provide, so it's not a problem for me. As a plus, I think their services help the people around here unwind. Chrissy is rather quiet, all things considered, but people speak highly of her. No real escapades that this person caused, so I'm not too worried. I notice she tends to wear really ugly hats, most likely to hide the fact that she doesn't have any hair, which seems to bother her. I told her in one of our sessions together that she should really get another, but I guess good hats are hard to find. Maybe next time I'm out I'll try to find a wig for her or something. Marky. Another pre-war ghoul except this one claims to be a musician. Don't know if that's true because he doesn't even have a guitar like he keeps saying he did. I guess it broke or something. I really doubt most of the words coming out of his mouth because the guy is either high on peyote or spitting tobacco everywhere. I know he's Cole's bane right now with all the messes he leaves behind. Still, he's not too much of a troublemaker. The worst event that happened was when he started pissing in one of the water fountains, probably drunk, and was talking about getting the fountain running again. Uh, like I said, he's not too much of a threat, but if it was up to me, he'd be out on his ass getting high elsewhere. Alright. Personnel files, high risks. Meadow, risk low. What kind of name is Meadow anyway? Sounds like a fake name, but who am I to judge? She isn't the brightest, but none of her posse really are. They seem to be, they seem to have this rather bitchy entitled attitude towards other women, but the men seem to praise her services. She has a lot of power around here um, that most people realize, as the men who use her services are more or less captivated by her opinions, I guess. If things got really bad, I could probably spread a myth about sexual diseases they've been spreading. That'll ruin the reputation enough to have her lose all her power. Well, probably. Can ghouls even get STDs? Well, if I didn't know, I'm going to go ahead and guess they don't know either. Jameson Morrow, risk moderate. Supposedly a pre-war politician over in one of the 16 commonwealths, yada yada. I lose interest in those little details the more he yammers on about it. This guy won't shut up about how he wants to take over the community democratically and all this bullshit 
about how he's going to be better than Halden. I don't see any reason that he could be wrong in this, but his determination does raise some questions about what he'd be willing to do to get his way. I'd do an investigation on his background uh, by maybe poking around his stuff or something, but he recently moved into casino area and taken it for himself. Can't reach him. If there are any internal risks, i put him on the top of the list. If I can get Holland to agree to kick him out, that'd be great, but he said he wouldn't do that unless he got undeniable proof. Okay. backstory. It was a hot day, one of the hottest days I've ever faced in the desert. Maybe it was because of the bombs, I don't know, but it was pretty damn hot. That's the one thing that was echoing in my mind. The sky was this hazy color of red, like I was standing in an oven. It almost feels like a nightmare now. I tried to make it out of there in the wastes. I must have been in my 20s, that's when I came across them. They were ghoulified, like me, a mother and a child. I killed the mother for their water because they wouldn't give me any. I left the kid to die. I don't know if she actually survived for a certain, but I'm pretty sure she didn't make it. I wanted to write this all down for you guys, as I assume if you found this, I must have passed. I feel it coming in the back of my head, the voices, the madness, and even now, I'm starting to feel the loss of control. It's as if my body is going haywire very slowly. I know that in a few months or so I might end up in the graveyard. I wrote this little confession because I've done bad things out when I traveled the waste. I was never a raider, but I didn't care about anyone else but myself. That's the unacceptable truth about anyone who would dare let a child die willingly. If I lose control completely, just put me down. There's not going to be a cure for this, ever. I don't want to lose my mind like them. Forgive me for what I've done and pass me on to the Father in the sky or maybe even the fiery depths that await for me. This time I don't deserve mercy. Dang. So Halden's future is now. What's this? Now hold on a minute, Mr. Morrow. Alden might have done some things that he shouldn't have, but... I don't think he... I don't think he's still the same person. Who are you? so far off the ground. To what? Alright. Let's head back in. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know how we're gonna do this whole Maddox thing. Cause um yeah, he's just not there. Um, 
I heard that we got a smooth skin in today. You're just as unpleasant looking as I thought you'd be. stay here and then if we ever run into Maddox I suppose we can take him down then what no way I'd let that bastard pass me I uh, may have been using holes in the infrastructure to steal the ghouls that bastard my wife was in there my wife doesn't the plan mean anything I told Halden he was no good no good when Kelly started Becoming one of them. The mindless ones. Uh, I had to put her in there. It was part of the plan, you see. To help them. It's got to be some sickness, you see. We just want to help them get better. To be who they were again. And until then, I... I promised that I'd protect her even when I lost my own damn mind. Now Moro took her. Gonna plant that dumb bastard. Well now, hold on. Think this through. Hunting Morrow puts your wife in danger. Um you sold him to a man in the Legion named Maddox. And where do I find this Maddox? He's probably around some Legion camp like the one by the power plant. Great. Guess I'd better start walking. Um maybe you should stay here. I ain't about to let you tell me what to do, smooth skin. Especially when it involves waiting on my ass. Not a goddamn thing. Oh. <sighs> Alright. I'll probably just reload this save. Um, yeah, if anyone knows where we can find Maddox, because I'm not going to carry him around with me and, until we're actually going to go find Maddox, but... It might be a while before we do. Um, Fine. Just don't get in the way. Yeah, so if y'all know where I can find Maddox, uh, if I'd back a few feet, would you? I'd be bugged something by killing everyone at the power plant before. Uh, let me know. Um, so yeah. Because I would like to finish this quest. I, I like the atmosphere feet, here. What's, what's going on? Um, you again, smooth skin. Yes. What's your story? I hung around a toxic waste dump long enough that my face melted off. That good enough for you, smooth skin? No. Why hide here? Ghouls are always an e Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, I am gonna reload my save back to before we talk to Buddy. And, um, we'll cut here. Next episode, I will go do something else temporarily <laughs> until we learn about Maddox's whereabouts. So yeah, hope hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and y'all have a great day.